joining Zitzman Erstazen back at the yard and going to hear a little bit more about his runners are getting ready to pull out. Zitzman will start in race two with St. Patrick's Day and she's regained her form and she's holding it. Yeah, she's, she's honest. She's going to win a race one of these days. It's quite, quite decent looking field. It's a handicap. So in a handicap, as you know, anything can happen. So let's hope. Moving to race four with a yard will step out the four runners, all of Young Nelson, Elmas Tower, Flinders Range and Silver Celebrity. Yeah, yeah, Elmas Tower. Maybe he can talk for himself. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I hope he runs a, runs a very big race, decent jock on. Uh, young Nelson, Muzieni on, um, that knows him, um, must have a chance. Almost must have a chance. Um, Flinders Range on his last couple of runs must have a chance. He have Rachel Vinegar on. Yeah. Louis Kotla is riding here on Almas. And then Elden Weber is on Silver Celebrity, trying the 1900 again. Um, and But we're going to take off the blinkers yeah. and let him run on from last. Let's see. I still believe Silvano can do a 1900. He must be one of the only ones that couldn't so far, but we're going to try. We move to race five where we'll see El Kasim, and I really think that this fellow put up a good run last time out. I'm excited to see him here, and he'll race alongside stable companion Royal Shindig. Yeah, Royal Shindig last run ignored it, um, totally. Um, the 1400 can be too short for him, yeah. can be. Um, but I wasn't, uh, I didn't plan to run Al Qasim. Um, and then when I saw the field just before 10, I decided, you know, I think he can, he can run a huge race, um, Al Qasim in that field. So, yes, hoping. And Royal Shending can definitely, definitely run in the money. So, but Al Qasim is, is very well. I had the plan for him for the next next week at 1200. Um, but yeah, when I saw the field, I thought, you know, we have a chance. Let's go. The yard will finish in race six with El Romiachi, and he's a very interesting runner as well because he is down in class. Yeah, finally the handicapper uh, admitted he's too high and gave him a little bit of a break. And... Um, yeah, with Rachel, with a one and a half claim, good draw. Um, if it was 100 meters further, I would have been really confident. Um, but yeah, as well, I hope he runs a cracker. I do think El Romiachi is one of the horses that stand out from the yard and uh, this fellow behind us, Elmas Tower, nice and curious. Let's hope for a big run from him as well.